Hello. Welcome to my hospital birth, postpartum and zero to six month baby essentials video. My name is Ella and this is Vincent. He is currently 10 months old and this is my first YouTube video. So if you like this content, please be sure to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> I've also created subtitles for this video. I wanted it to be as accessible as possible. So if you are hard of hearing or in any number of situations with a newborn baby that has your volume turned down, you can follow along with subtitles. I'll leave a link in the description on how you can turn those on if you're interested. And I will also try to link as many of the products and resources that I talk about in the video. In preparation for this video, I went through my phone and made a list of all of the brands that I have used and loved as a new mum. And I reached out to a lot of those and some of them have been really generous in writing back with discount codes and links for me to share with you. So I'm really excited to pass those on. Um, all of the products and tips that I'm sharing have been based on my experience. I know every pregnancy and birth and baby is different, but I hope you find something in this video useful. And um, yeah, if you have any other recommendations that I don't mention in today's video, please leave them in the comments. I'd really love to read them. So first up, I have my eight tips on helping you to prepare for your baby and to make your life as easy as possible once baby arrives. Number one is meal prep. If you're anything like me, cooking will be the last thing you wanna do once baby arrives. So having a freezer full of nutritious home-cooked meals will be an absolute lifesaver. One of my friends actually insisted that anyone who came to her house to meet her new baby bring her and her husband a home-cooked meal which I think is totally genius and I've also recently heard of a website called Meal Train which is a free website where your friends and family can organize meal giving so that might be something to look into as well number two is to download a contractions app I used the contractions timer in the Ovia pregnancy app that I use throughout my pregnancy you just press start and stop at the beginning and end of a contraction it would record the time of your contraction, the length of your contraction, also automatically calculate how long between contractions, which I thought was nice and easy. Number three is to know your hospital. I definitely recommend having the maternity wards phone number saved in both you and your birth partner's phones uh, and know when to call them. So for example, at my hospital, I needed to call them when I went into labor, when my contractions were a certain distance apart, and also when I was leaving home to come into the hospital. So just have that information on hand. And also if your birth partner is unfamiliar with the hospital, I definitely recommend them going and finding out where to park and where to go so that you don't have to worry about that on the day. Number four is I highly recommend looking into either hiring or purchasing a TENS machine. You guys, my labor was 32 hours and this machine really got me through. So uh, definitely look into that. Number five is prepare your car. So of course you'll have your car seat. You may even want to do a little test run with a teddy bear or something so that you understand how the straps and the buckles work properly before you're putting your little baby in the seat. And you'll also want to invest in some sort of car window shade for the back seat. We used an Australian company called Snapshades and they custom make the windows uh, shades to your car, your make and model. So they fit really nice and they also cover the entire window, which I really like. They are magnetic, so they just clip on in seconds, which is helpful. You can leave the windows, the car shades up with the windows down, which is really nice to get some fresh air. I also really recommend a back seat mirror so that you can safely check on bub when you're on the road and also keeping your car towards the end of your pregnancy, especially uh, with enough petrol in it at all times to get you safely to and from the hospital so that you don't get caught on an empty tank. Number six is to buy a baby friendly laundry powder. I really like Omo Sensitive, uh, but you'll be pre-washing all of baby's clothes before they arrive. You'll be doing a lot of washing once they're here. So if you find one you like, buy uh, when they've got a sale on, you'll save yourself a bit of money. Number seven is to look into local mother or parent support groups. I was really hesitant to do this. I had friends and family that had had negative experiences, but I joined one through my obstetrician. And honestly, having a group of people around you with babies the same age, going through the same things who you can talk to was such a game changer for me. 
I catch up with them still almost every week and we're almost a year on now and we take our babies to swimming lessons together and it's been um, really great so I cannot recommend that more highly. And number eight is I recommend brushing up on your nursery rhymes and lullabies. If you're anything like me you'll want to have more than twinkle twinkle up your sleeve when you are rocking your newborn baby. I actually got this nursery rhyme uh, board book so the pages are nice and chunky and Vinny loves helping turn the pages and pulling down the flaps on all of the on all of the pages so uh, you can make it a bit of fun as well before we move on to hospital and postpartum I just wanted to flag that uh, while I absolutely adored putting our nursery together when I was pregnant we did not use it until Vinny was six months old and moved out of our room and into his own for anything other than clothes stories so if you are feeling overwhelmed by either time or budget with your nursery don't worry you probably won't use it for months anyway next I wanted to go through my hospital and postpartum essentials postpartum is real you guys and having a new baby is such a big adjustment I think my best advice when it comes to postpartum and being new parent is to just be really really kind to yourself try not to compare your journey to that of others and just know you are doing an incredible job your little baby will love you so so much one I re really recommend a water bottle with a straw it's so much easier than sipping from a cup or an open water bottle number two lip balm my lips were so dry the whole time I was in hospital but particularly in delivery number three I recommend just getting one pack of 18 always discreet adult diapers I wore these immediately after after giving birth and I found them really easy and comfortable in those first few days and then moved on to uh, the Tom's maternity organic pads I recommend getting about four packs of these I only got a couple so I ended up going to my local supermarket and buying a couple of other brands and they were nowhere near as soft or comfortable number four is a probiotic so ask your midwife or obstetrician what they recommend I used Kiara and you can just add one of these sachets to your drink and it's totally flavorless which I really like. Number five, uh, breast care. And I'll be honest with you, breastfeeding was quite a journey for us. I didn't feel confident or comfortable doing it for the first two, maybe even three months. But a couple of products I found really helpful during that time was the Lansano lanolin cream. And um, I found these hydrogel breast discs really cooling in between feeds. So that might be helpful for you as well. And I also really loved my uh, breast pads from a small business on the Sunshine Coast called Her Rhythm. I'll link them below and they've kindly given me a discount code for 15% off store wide. They are a really soft material with a waterproof backing and aside from being better on the environment I found the material ones to be a lot comfier and more and yeah more discreet than um, the disposables. Final one for postpartum is to use your support network so your partner I know it's not always possible but for them to take off as much time as they can uh, to support you but also to get to know their little new addition as well and your friends and family in whatever form that may be whether it's bringing you cooked meals whether it's mowing the lawn or just holding baby while you have a shower zero to six month baby essentials and I've broken these into categories so I'll timestamp them in the description below in case you want to flick through but the first one is all about sleep which I think is such a priority for for new parents uh, and when it comes to bassinets depending on uh, you know what you would like your baby to sleep in and space but if you can fit a full-size cot in your room you could easily skip the bassinet stage altogether and just pop baby straight into the cot we had a bassinet Vinny was really long so he grew out of it when he was about two and a half months old so he really wasn't in it very long and then we had to transition him to the cot which you know he thought was brilliant all this newfound room for activities but not so fun for us in the wee hours of the morning so you could easily uh, just move them straight into a cot if that's something that you're comfortable with you'll also want to invest in two sets of sheets so you can double lay you'll have a waterproof cover fitted sheet waterproof 
waterproof cover fitted sheet so if you need to you can strip the top set off and still have a ready-made bed uh, ready to go in the middle of the night so you can pop baby straight back down rather than trying to make a bed in the wee hours of the morning. Some babies love their arms swaddled up, others love them swaddled down, but I found the swaddle suits so much easier than swaddling with a traditional wrap. Uh, love to Dream have given me a code and Vinny honestly loved his Love to Dream swaddle and they really do help in preventing their little startle reflex from waking them up. The last tip I have for sleep is a white noise machine. If you are considering getting a video camera or a video monitor for your baby, then some of them have white noise machines built in. So just something to have a look for when you are on the hunt for a camera. The next category is changing and we don't have a changing table or dresser anywhere in our home. We just use a nappy caddy. So I'll link this one in the description below, but we just use a vegan leather mat from Gather. We have one in our caddy and one in our nappy bag for on the go. And we've tried a few different nappies, but our favorite is definitely the Huggies Ultimate. Um, and we've just transitioned to the Huggies Ultimate nappy pants because this boy is on the move. Uh, I have a really fun Huggies wipes tub DIY. So I'll insert a video of Vinny playing with that here. We've used the Love Me Eco Bamboo Wipes since Vinny was a newborn. It's an Australian company. They produce the wipes in an off-grid New Zealand facility and they're made of bamboo. So they're plant-based, they're biodegradable, they're even compostable um, and they're gentle enough for sticky faces and fingers. So I have one of these packets on me at all times. And the last product was pseudo cream. So we've tried a few different creams, but found this one to be the most effective and Vinny's never had nappy rash. So highly recommend this for prevention. When you do see wipes and nappies come up on sale, I definitely recommend buying while they're on sale. They are by far our biggest baby expense. So if you can save some money there, it really goes a long way. The next category is feeding. I mentioned my breastfeeding products in the postpartum section and Vinny has never taken a bottle. So if you have any tips on bottle feeding, please leave them in the comments below. But these other items are feeding related. So I wanted to mention a couple of bibs that I love. These are from Natural Cuddles on Etsy, a small business. I will link them but what I love about these, they're organic cotton muslin. They have the press stud closure with a couple of different sizes so that they can grow into it. And I really like these uh, press studs over the Velcro because they're softer on baby's neck and they have a waterproof lining inside. So um, even if the bib gets really wet, baby will stay nice and dry, which keeps them comfortable. And it's also a lot uh, quicker and easier for you to change a bib and wash a bib than an entire outfit. And I also adore these Aboriginal print bibs from an Australian small business in WA. So I will link them below. We introduced our high chair to Vinny when he was about four or five months old and started developing his sit muscles. He didn't start solids until it was after six months, but um, once they can start to sit independently, it's another great place for you to put your baby uh, while you're washing up. They can see what you're doing on the bench, which is really fun for them. And we just popped um, Vinny's silicone cutlery on the tray and, uh, you know, he would mouth these and start to play and explore with these. And it was also a great introduction for him to be able to start picking up his cutlery and learn that skill of training transferring um, the cutlery from his tray to his mouth in preparation for solids. So that could be something you're interested in as well. The next section is wardrobes and I wouldn't recommend anything other than these little onesies for your newborn's wardrobe, especially these ones that have the optional mittens and socks. You just turn inside out and they stay protected so they can't pull or kick off their mittens and socks. And I do like ones like these that are optional uh, because it just gives you a bit more flexibility in moderating baby's temperature. If, it, if it is a bit warmer, you can just um, open up their little footsie and zippers are so much easier than press studs, honestly. So for uh, getting baby in and out of the outfit, you would unzip from the top, but for your nappy changes, you can unzip 
from the bottom up which leaves their top part nice and protected still keeps them nice and warm uh, bonds often have 40% off store wide so if you subscribe to their emails um, and then you can just buy a heap at almost half price when they come up on sale if you are looking for other recommendations for different brands I will put a list up on the screen so that you can just screenshot that I've been buying at the end of season sales for sizing for the following year which has been a good way to save some money and I just wanted to mention these little bonds singlet suits they're thinner than a traditional singlet onesie and whether you're using them as a layer in winter or as a singlet uh, in summer there I find them a lot more useful than a traditional singlet because they don't ride up they stay down if you are looking at storing either clothing that your baby hasn't grown into yet or that they've grown out of that you'd like to hold on to the vacuum seal bags are a really great way to uh, keep them in your cupboard without taking up too much space. The next section is on bath time and while a baby bath and hooded towel are not essential they do make your life a little bit easier but something that you'll definitely want to get a hold of is some sort of washer that you can wipe baby's face and eyes with when you're bathing them. Um, you'll want to get some sort of baby wash you don't need to get different shampoos and body washes but just one product to wash baby head to toe and just be careful when you are choosing your bath toys when they get a little bit older that you're only offering toys that are completely sealed most rubber duckies and things these days are so that bacteria can't form in where the moisture gets trapped so just make sure all of your bath toys are fully sealed this next section is on the go. I have just two products, a pram and a baby carrier. And whatever baby wearing you decide to do, just make sure it's really comfortable because you'll likely live in it for those first few months. I really loved my Yoli and Otis baby carrier for newborn Vinny. And now I use the Zappa BB carrier, which Vinny and I both absolutely love. In terms of play, any sort of play gym with dangling toys will keep your baby entertained right up until they start crawling. You can always switch the toys out to keep it interesting for them. You'll also want, want some sort of large rug. You probably even have a picnic mat at home that you can use when you do go out to comfortably sit both yourself and your baby. And a third mat that we absolutely love and becomes more of essential once baby starts moving is a padded and waterproof mat. We absolutely love our one from Munchkin and Bear. It just helps cushion their fall as they're learning new skills. And the final piece um, in terms of equipment for play is a rocker or bouncer or swing somewhere you can just sit your baby while you're uh, hanging out the washing or having a shower or uh, anything. So toys that we absolutely love for the zero to six month age group. I'll start with some books and we love these indestructible books. They're rip proof, they're waterproof, and they're just a really great introduction to books for your baby that's uh, safe for them to use independently. Um, we also love any sort of fabric books. The noisier, the better. And Vinny's been loving these finger puppet books. They're board books, so the pages are nice and chunky and the interactive finger puppet um, keeps it, holds their attention. Any sort of ball, I like this one because it has the loose fabric around the ball, so it's nice and easy for your baby to grip. Uh, musical instruments, anything that makes a noise. Really, I think Minnie's first favorite toy was this little green man from Toy Story that makes a, a very fun noise. Vinny's favourite teethers have been this nubby banana teether and of course Sophie the giraffe. These mushy stacking cups I would say. We introduced these when Vinny was about four months old and these have consistently been his favourite toy month on month. Obviously you can nest them, uh, you can turn them around and stack them as well which is super fun for a uh, baby to come and knock down. The last toy I had was these silicone stacking rings, nice for him to teeth on and now he's mobile. He quite enjoys pulling them apart and then transporting these around the house. And I also just wanted to mention kitchen utensils, you guys, it's probably all you need. You just open uh, your second drawer and give them a, you know, a whisk and a spatula and happy days. So definitely utilize what you have around the home as well. 
three tips when it comes to toys. Um, and the first being whatever toys you have, you'll want to strategically place these around your home where you'll need them, wherever you're changing nappies, on the pram, in your car seat. And for the pram and car seat, any toy that has some sort of clip so you can hook it on and uh, help prevent baby from kicking them out will be will be your friend. My second tip for toys is you might want to look into either a toy and or book subscription service. So um, toys or books that will be delivered to you periodically that will be based on your baby's age and stage of development could be really helpful. And my third tip is to organize either a toy swap or toy rotation system with your friends or your mother's or parents group um, so that you know you're not buying all the toys and it gives you that option to share toys uh, amongst you know your group and, and keep them interesting. This last section is a bit of a miscellaneous. I have four more products to share with you. The first being Terry Towling Nappies. This one's made from bamboo from the brand Bubba Blue. I use these as burp cloths and I also found it really helpful when baby was little to fold these and pop them under his head. Uh, a lot quicker and easier to wash if he does spit up than the pram or the play gym that he was in. The second item is the nail snail. I find this so much safer and easier to use than traditional nail trimmers. And it was designed by a lady here on the Gold Coast, which I really love to support local businesses. It has a V uh, shaped trimmer. So you just run it along baby's nails and it trims it uh, really quickly and easily, which is what you want. If you use my code, they'll also gift you a free canvas bag, which is nice just to keep your small baby goods safe. The next one was some sort of thermometer so that you can check baby's temperature if they're feeling unwell. And last but not least, a dummy clip. If you are going to use a dummy, they drop all the time. So this will help keep the dummy up off the floor. We used the Havea natural dummies with Vinny and had no problems at all taking the dummy off him at four, four and a half months. So even if you are thinking you don't want to use a dummy, I do recommend having one on hand just in case you need some help settling your newborn in the middle of the night when no stores are open. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found that helpful. If you would like to see more videos, please let me know what type in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you so much for being here and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.